One way of understanding where motivation fits in is that if you think of the essential elements of how you turn energy into work is that you have to generate some energy, you have to transform that energy into some form of power, and then that power becomes work. So yes. the energy generation is where the psychological needs fit in, is that's how you generate yeah. energy, is you get your needs met for autonomy, competence, and relatedness. Yeah. And beneficence fits in there too a little bit. And then that causes you to have some form of motivation. However that occurs, the energy is generated, it becomes a form, some form of power. That's the motivational spectrum. Yeah, and, and you've got to create a fuel. You've got something, you've got to create something to fuel it. Right, right. Well. And that's, where, that, that's yeah. where your psychological needs come in, is mm. that you, you, you take that fuel in terms of the situation has some ways that it is supporting or thwarting your needs. So mm. support is better. Support gives you more, is more efficient. <laughs> so the fuel is the needs. It turns into energy, which is the processing of that fuel. Then mm. that, that becomes some form of motivation. So that's where it's, turn, that's power. So motivation is the power level. I mean, it and could be aim. curiosity, all kinds of things that, that, right, can, right. that can be part of that fuel, yeah. Curiosity is a byproduct of needs. Right, okay, yeah. So, so, so you, mm. this is like the underlying aspect of it. And then it only becomes work when you engage. So there has to be some form of engagement to turn it into actual work. Yeah, something, a product of some sort. Right, yeah. right. So the engagement yeah. is the key going from an internal process into something in the world. That's engagement. Mm. The engagement that's the most important for deep learning is the agentic engagement. Because you can have mere behavioral engagement, you just go through the motions. But if it's not yeah. agentic, agentic means putting yourself, your identity, yeah, you're, your you're desires, your yeah. opinions, yeah. yourself into it. That's the agentic yeah. piece. That's yeah. the stuff of deep learning yeah. is the agency. Yeah, I think now, that is the difference between how I look at my study in terms of my teaching degree, to me, I'm doing it because I'm passionate about it, because I'm curious because of all the things, all the things that fuel it. But also, um, I got into it in the first place because I felt that there was, I could see that this is something that I could make a difference. That's right. That's right. That I, that, that, um, that I had something to bring to this and that I could be useful and I could be, I could do this. This could be something that I could be useful at. But also, I really enjoy it. It's fun, mm -hmm. you know, like a good, you know, there are days at school when you just think, oh my God, why do I do right. this? <laughs> but, you know, there's, that's, that's part of being a teacher sometimes. But there are so many, there are also days where you just go, yes, this is why we do it. This is the Agentic Schools podcast, where you will learn about schools from around the world where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living is more important than their academic skills. I'm your host. Don Berg.